Hey everyone, my name is Nick and today we are going to get rid of our standard boring 404 page and create a unique and charming 404 page for our Shopify store. Make sure to like and subscribe and now let's get into it. Now the first thing I want to show you is what the standard 404 page looks like on the Dawn theme. Uh, you can see it's pretty bland, pretty boring. And normally this isn't uh, a landing page that people are going to optimize, but it's an easy fix. Uh, and hopefully when people do land on this page, which unfortunately they will from either dead links or uh, invalid URLs they type in, et cetera, we hope that they won't see this and leave. We hope that they will interact with it and stay on the site so that we can convert them to paying customers. Uh, so we're just going to address this up a little bit. And the first thing we need to do is open up this GitHub repo, which I will have linked in the description, and it's going to have all the files that we need to update this. So I've gone ahead and created a duplicate of the Dawn theme, and uh, this is what we're going to do first. We're going to create a section, and it is going to be called toaster.liquid. And then we're going to come to this GitHub repo and we are going to open up the toaster section. And we're just going to copy all of this code. Then we'll paste it in and hit save. Now, the main thing you need to know about this is it has our configuration for this uh, snippet that we're going to create, and uh, we'll be able to customize it a little bit in the customizer afterwards. And you'll see that here it is rendering a snippet that we're going to create called Toaster, but right now it's complaining that it doesn't exist. So let's create it. Also, I should have mentioned that this is a 2.0 theme using JSON templates. If you're not using JSON templates, then you can still copy and paste all the HTML and CSS in between the tags of your theme. So now if we go into Snippet, we are going to create a new one, and we're going to call this one Toaster as well. Feel free to name it something else if you like. It could be confusing having a Toaster uh, snippet and a Toaster section, but um, for my purposes, I'm not too worried about it. And I'm going to go into the snippets toaster.liquid file. And I'm going to copy all of this. I'm going to paste it back in and save. Now, this is a bunch of HTML that's coming from a awesome code pen that I found that I will link in the description that uh, is being utilized here. And it just basically has a bunch of stuff that we're going to see uh, what it ends up looking like. But you'll see it is referencing a toaster-css file that does not exist. So again, we're going to create that by going to Assets. And we're going to add an asset. And we're going to call it toaster-css.css. And just like before, we're going to go in to the assets, to the toaster CSS, and we are going to copy this entire file. And save. All right, we're almost there. Next, we're going to go to our 404 JSON template. And we are going to copy and we are going to copy from the templates 404 JSON. And we're going to paste that uh, JSON file here. Now it would pay to look at the documentation, understand how the Shopify theme uh, works. But basically, this template file is what is referencing our toaster section. And our toaster section is then referencing the snippet with our HTML, which is referencing our CSS file. So uh, the last thing we need to do is to go into our base CSS file. And there is one change that we need to make on line 628, this 
little guy right there we need to comment out and without further ado let's take a look at our store I'm gonna to go to a URL and you'll see we now have an interactive toaster uh, with a little bit of a joke 404 at this page is toast and back to civilization uh, there's also a little bonus where you can find if you hover the mouse over certain areas it spins and uh, kind of just a fun easy uh, optimization to make to add a little character to your website now Lastly, I do want to go and check on the customizer because there are a couple of customizations that we can make here. Um, and you've, you're more than welcome to add as many customizations if you want in the section. Now, if we navigate to the 404 page, and if we click into our toaster, you will see that we can name the heading whatever we want the text to whatever we want and of course you could go more granular and talk about the different styles colors if we look on mobile you'll see that it works and looks great so this quick and easy optimization for otherwise a boring shopify page i hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial on shopify development let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next and cheers